Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with T N T Dynamite the Explosion. One, Jonas, you the man on sticks. Yeah, I'm holding. My- <laughs> <laughs> wow, you all right? Holding the controller, dude. You good? <laughs> All right, dude. Hanging in there. All right, cool, man. Uh, we're playing some of that Madden 21. Yeah, dude, we're Desperadian. <laughs> yeah, you want some more whiskey boy. after this? What? I don't drink alcoholic beverages, Jonas. Would I'm... you like to have a sip of whiskey for the first time in your life? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're... What are you trying to get me enthused? I mean, in, inebriated? I don't know. I can't... I don't even know what you call it. Drunk? <clears throat> Jonas, um, loose. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have I, I have volunteered night at the convent tonight, so no, I can't. Oh snap, dude! Yeah, Jonas, gotta go clean the, the habits. Social distance with the nuns. Wow, you know I've heard some weird nun stories in my day. You know From that? who? So I remember when I lived in uh, oh, when I lived in Cleveland. Okay, there was this one like uh, old folks home where it was run by like nuns or whatever, right? <clears throat> I was like part of the church. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even sure. I always thought like you know I should probably go and apply for a job there because I heard like well honestly I heard good things and I heard bad things. So one of the weirdest things that I heard is that like. The, the priests and the nuns were like getting it on and they would like as the nuns would like get pregnant and you can't be a pregnant nun right right so they would have doctors come in and like you know do what they had to do okay to discontinue the pregnancy in grandma's room no for the nuns dude we're, just t- we're not even talking about the OP we're talking about the nuns and the priests so they do what they have to do to, you know, terminate the pregnancy. And then, like, the nuns would, like, keep them in the basement because you can't tell anybody that it happened. Okay. So I heard that at this particular old person's home in the basement were buried, like, hundreds. <laughs> Of partially formed babies? <laughs> no, aborted, Jonas, is the word we're looking for. Oh, boy. But I'm sorry. I, look, I know. I know. It took a weird turn. I didn't. It was, it was supposed to be lighthearted. It's desperados were taking the snacks off their plate feet to the children of the, the yeah, needy. Dude. But we no. We even talked about that, dude. No, no now, we talked about sleep. <laughs> now we're talking about n- none habits. <laughs> yeah, dude. Whoa. <laughs> I thought one looked at me sexy one time. That was my own story. Could you uh, even imagine, like, a vow of celibacy? Nope. That's some crazy-ish, my, my dude. Nah, dude, I ain't giving that up. That's some crazy-ish, my dude. Celibacy is basically saying I will never touch another woman in my life ever again. For I mean, Jesus. For, Je- for Jesus, yes. Like, uh... There's a good chance that, you know, I may never touch another woman again in life (laughs) anyway, but... Let me ask you a question. To make that choice? What would it take for you to be okay with a vow of celibacy? Ooh. Whether anything, whether it's monetary or other, it doesn't have to be money. What, what What would someone say, I'll give you this if you never touch another woman and you're like, deal. If they promise that, I mean, well, for one thing, Jonas, superpowers, 100%. Okay, something you can actually get in life. What like do you something mean? Like, I can't actually. You said, what would it take? So here we go. We're going supernatural. Give me something that someone can actually give you tomorrow in this world. <clears throat> I don't know if I value any, like, anything tangible. I don't really value. So I have a hard time putting, I mean, enough money to... Like, help my family for generations. Generational wealth. Okay. I need the... I need more money than Elon Musk. I need more... It's going to take more money than Steve Jobs. So, like, a quarter of a trillion dollars. Like, 250 billion. Yeah, because then I feel like my family... My entire family could eat off of that for generations. Like, my, my nieces' nieces and my nephews' nephews... And their grandchildren and grandchildren and grandchildren are going to be straight. You probably got a good 
40 years of okayness with if none of them worked period yeah other than that it would be like hey yo could i be can i have the same body i had when i was like 20 28 that would be great forever can i just go back to being 28 that'd be sweet and you give up women for that no <laughs> i meant 18 too not 28 jesus <laughs> 28 that'd be yesterday no <laughs> <laughs> I got you. That's a joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, could I be 18 again? That'd be great. Okay. Time travel? I would do it for time travel. So, so essentially, nothing in the world is worth it for you. <laughs> no, because I don't value tangible things. I don't value money so much. I don't value, like, women. Right. I don't value I items. Because I value relationships with people more than money. So, like, even if it's not even, like, a relationship where I'm, like, I mean, just, like, um, connecting with people and being around people and stuff like that really? is more value to me, valuable to me than money. Huh. And, uh... I mean, that is very, uh, that's very noteworthy of you, sir. And, uh... But, yes, like Fair you, I, if there was stuff like that, like, if, if anything is on the table, like you said, like, superpowers, time travel, like, yada, yada, like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd be like, oh... But I don't know, dude. If you go back in time, you couldn't smash like. I don't need to smash if I can just go back in time. Can I still? Can I still smack it? Can I smack it around? <laughs> just sit in that chair and let me wind. Yeah, can I? Can I give it a spanking and we're good? You know. I don't know, dude. I haven't think all the rules. You know, I didn't. I didn't go all the way through the. I just can't touch a woman, right? Is that that was I'm, okay? I was look okay. Fine. We're getting too. We're getting too deep into it. I want superpowers, you tell all right? Me I'm the one who always has an alternative to you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bro, like, can, can she watch me in the corner while she does things to herself? <laughs> it was topical. I know. I'm just being. <laughs> no, it's cool. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. I would. Yeah, superpowers. I don't know, dude. I just don't know. No, nah, I want superpowers. I get superpowers. I'll, I'll never touch another woman ever. Women of the world, the only way you're safe from me is if <laughs> I can <Jesus> superpowers. <laughs> That sounds other than sounds that predatory. <laughs> yeah, you, you're damn right. <laughs> you know, you're only safe for me if I can get the time travel. <laughs> Man, I'm a black jaguar on the prowl. Row, row. <laughs> row, row. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> I am really playing terribly. <laughs> I the last mean, couple play sessions we've had, I've not been doing well. I mean, well, you don't really play in your spare time there, big guy. I don't know how you think you're ever going to like improve at Madden if if you don't put in the hours. Uh, that's all I want in life, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I need you I need you to put in the hours off cam. That's going to take so that people see the, the improvement that that you so can people be. People look at me and go, "Man, Jonas is elite." I would love to see you play like upper tier echelon Madden. I would love to do it too. I'd love to play other players if they follow football meta. How how awesome do you think it would be? And how awesome do you think it would be if we put out a video? Jonas is in a tournament, a Madden tourney. Of me versus myself? Uh, no, God damn it, Jonas. No, a Madden tournament <laughs> that you join against other Madden players, dude. If I can be guaranteed they're going to follow football oh meta, my I'm in. Gosh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> if we can't do the bait in real life, then I don't want to do it. I want to play simulation <laughs> football. <laughs> if we can't do the debate in real life, we don't want to do it. All right. Uh, it's fine. It's fine, dude. I get it. You don't have to join a tournament. You don't have to play against another human being as long as you shall live. You know what? Somebody brought it to my attention the other day that video games are made to be fun. So if for fun for you is putting the game or not, I'm not even saying for you in general, Jonas, I'm the, saying the, the people the collective. Yes, you. I'm talking to the viewers at this point in time. If fun for you at home playing a video game is putting that some be on easy mode and playing through it and winning, then that's what it should be. Oh, if, if it's if it's putting the God mode on and playing through and winning, then that's what's fun for you. I remember uh, as a kid. Doom. You remember Doom? Doom yeah. the game. I have never beaten Doom without the God Mode cheats on. 
that game is terrifying to me. I think that game is literally part of the reason why I am the way I am to, to this day about scary, about scary games. games. Yeah, because it was just like, dude, I couldn't. I would jump like a little bee in the seat whenever like one of those pink freaking pig monsters would come out of the wall and start biting at my butt, dude. And the only way I could feel comfortable is by saying, oh, I'll just put the God Mode cheats on. And then I had a great time with it when there was no danger. Yeah. But other than that, the game's a freaking dude i'll have a heart attack are you kidding me yeah i don't blame me so i thought back to that time in my life where i was sitting there playing doom on the computer with the cheats on and i had a great time just clipping through walls doing whatever the hell i wanted to do and i was like you know what who am i to tell anybody that they're not a real gamer or you know that they are misusing the game by playing the way you want to play it's your game. You play oh, the way you want to play. And I've said that from the start. Like, that's fine. I just don't want to play you if you're playing that <laughs> following football meta. You can have all the fun you want to have, but not at my expense. I, I feel like it is better if you do not put a what could be contrived or, or what could be taken in as disingenuous and just say, I choose to play the game in this way. You don't have to explain yourself ever. You know me. I don't like explaining myself, period, dot, to anybody about anything because I don't have to. And I don't feel like I should have to. Don't ask me no questions. Answer you don't have to you don't have to answer questions. The answer nope. is no, period. <laughs> no, the answer is yes. The answer is always yes, Jonas. It's yes to what you yes want. Yes is a complete sentence and so is no. You're dang right. But the answer is always yes to Jonas. It's never no to you, the other person. It's yes to you. Right? Remember that. The answer is never when you tell another person no, no. You're saying yes to yourself. Woo! Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> May the Lord Jesus. Exactly. Okay. You should always be saying yes to yourself. You should not be doing things you don't want to do. Yeah, Jonas. So stop trying to get me to come in your bedroom at night, dude. I'm saying if we go back and watch our 2000 YouTube videos and we see who comments about sleeping in whose bed, <laughs> we're going to see who brings You're that up always... who brings that up more than the other, dude. We're I gonna... do bring it up, but listen, hold on. Hold on, dude. You, you, <laughs> no, no. you had a great point that you can't counter. Is what I'm, saying. You know, I'm saying yes to me, Jonas. I'm saying yes to me by saying F you, Jonas. Friend <laughs> that's, you. That's fair, dude. Friend you right in your friend hole. Friend you in your Friend face, friendly, friend, <laughs> friendly, friend, friend. Yeah, you, friend you, your friend face. Yeah, go f friend your your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> he is my friend on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll follow whoever I want to follow, and I'll dude, make them all my friend. Dude, I like that, man. Say yes to yourself. Woo. Yeah, dude. I need to like start. That's like it's not saying no to others. It's saying yes to yourself. Mm. That's a great dude. That should be on a shirt, dude. Sometimes I come up with some ish, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, telling you right now. You do TNT say. <laughs> Jonas, I'm telling you. Sometimes I come up with some stuff, man. I agree. This is where my mind is. Where it's it's a it's a it's a blessing and a curse, though, Ooh, Jonas. It is because when you have a big brain like you got, it, you see all the world's problems. Uh, yeah, I don't deal with the world too much, though. Yeah, but I, that's why I've always said that ignorance is really is truly bliss because really if you don't is. know any better, like you don't see the problem. Dude, You're I, I, yeah, and I'm I'm like totally at this point in my life, you know, this is a little story on me. I am incapable of thinking like a normal person. I, it just does not happen for me. But what does a normal person think like? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm like ab. I, like I, f I hate it when people say that they feel like you know i feel like i'm not even like human sometimes like everybody else is doing this and i'm doing this i, I don't know man because i can just sit back and i just watch human beings interact and though i don't know what like the motives for the things that people talk about i i don't feel like i could engage on the same level i don't whatever dude it's just crazy People is people. I love humans, and I love myself, and I love you, and I love our viewers. 
You know? Full of love tonight. I love everybody. Dude, you know, you know what I miss is just going out in public and watching people do stuff. I, I'm used to love doing that, too. Like hanging out at the bar and just having a couple drinks and just watching everybody do life, dude. It's and, uh, Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of stuff that I just wouldn't want to deal with, though. Like, I like when, like, a girl is mad at her boyfriend. You just watch that interaction. Like, oh, this dude's in the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> I've and then I'm that. like, that'll never be me. <laughs> Dude, this one time, we were at Brown Stadium, me and uh, me yeah. Todd. Yeah. And uh, this uh, this this dude and his girl, me, me and him, we were at a Browns game. And I was drunk, and I was trying to find him, and I, and I was wandering around the stadium. He met me, and this guy and this girl came out to the foyer, like, by us, and they were, they were yelling. And, like, the girl was facing me and Todd, and the guy was, like, getting onto his girl, and she could see us. And we started, like, making faces at her and stuff. And the dudes, it like, and she was trying not to laugh because, like, she knew he was being ridiculous. And, like, he, like, ripped his jersey off and threw it on the ground. And, <laughs> and Todd was recording it. And he turned around. He caught us dead-handed and was like, this is, like, when cell phones were still flip phones. And he's like, you guys record me he's like no dude I'm trying to get a signal <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a signal because you know brown state i well maybe you don't brown stadium yeah, the, yeah, the service is trash yeah it is trash there too yeah. and <laughs> or at least it used to be it's probably it's probably pretty, all right yeah, now but yeah. but like just the like we could just see we were just like you know just making all sorts and she was like she was trying not to laugh because we could tell that she was like oh here we go again he like pulls off a jerk it was just so funny he was just like oh. you serious right now tina like what the you know and we were just like oh tina's in trouble i don't see i don't know tina's in trouble I don't, like i don't really see myself raising my voice or getting that animated and i feel like some people do that yeah. Now, now that's that's obviously to the extreme. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You uh, know, and like, and as, as goofy as I am, as much as I raise my like to to get me so riled up with a person to actually like get loud with them, it takes a lot, dude. Because I just don't care enough. Yeah, you're not like the type to rip your shirt off and be like, whatever. Yeah, exactly. I'm more likely the guy to be like, why are you yelling? <laughs> I'll be hate, like, I, like I can't tell you that. how many times I've been in a in a argument with a partner and been like quotation fingers and just and just been like, why are you so loud with me right now? Oh man, <laughs> like, oh man, and they hate that. Right, I'm like, you know, you're yelling at me. Don't right? you dare be calm. We're in an argument. We're fighting. <laughs> right, you fight back. <laughs> Like, no, I'm not going to fight back. I'm going to use Aikido. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I'm use like, your own momentum against you. Yeah, you are yelling right now, <laughs> and I don't know what's happening. And you, then they get just pissed. Yeah, do you realize you're yelling? Yo. <laughs> oh, my God. And you know what? And honestly, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep it a buck with you, man. I feel like that is one of the most unattractive things that a person can do. When I see a person lose, lose all complete... Uh, use of logic and reasoning because the emotion has taken over. I'm just like, all right, man. This, it's not even worth talking at that point. I'm not going to talk to a person who is just overcome by emotion. Because nothing productive happens. Exactly. Nothing like, yeah. Nothing that's going to be said at this point is, is going to be uh, of any use to anybody. Yeah, yeah. I have also said numerous times in my past, like, mm -hmm. I'm like, we just need to talk later because we're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, right that now. doesn't work either, though. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> but that doesn't work. At least I try to keep a level head <laughs> and realize. Yeah. yeah. You, tr I've definitely tried that one before, but it is just like, if nothing puts a worse taste in my mouth than somebody who cannot control their emotions, and and to a certain extent, that's kind of what I mean. It's like I feel like a lot of people are just very either a in tune with their emotions or they are, you know, kind of a slave to their <laughs> emotions to a certain yeah. extent. <laughs> Or at least their emotions affect what they do. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, well, yeah, it's like I can be in, like, s severe crisis and, like, be, like, very level-headed about, like, yeah. what is happening. Yeah. But, I, I mean, you know, I can't. I'm not. Like, not everyone's able to do that. Not, I mean, that's yeah. okay. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not like it's. 
preferable, but like it, it's it's such a giant issue with humanity that it isn't like it's just two percent of the population. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Get me wrong, out there, people. I I know I'm crazy. All right. I almost feel like we are the smaller. We are the minority in that. I think more people overreact to their emotions than people who can like level-headed stay through them the whole time. Yeah. I, I kind of feel like that. That's kind of true, but I don't. I don't know for sure. I mean, yeah, and I, what kind yeah. of person are you at home? Do you do you get into your emotions? Do you get into your emotional bag? When's the last time you cried? Jonas wants to know. Send him a glass think, of your tears. I think. Uh, I think part of the reason I can stay so level-headed is because I have dead I am inside. <laughs> when you're dead inside, yeah. you just don't feel. So. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. No, uh, but anyways, that's all the time. Dude, God, this ladder. Fix that? Whoa, it's a long boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. Do Twitch with him. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N on my GHT underscore crazy now. Twitch.tv. Yes, sir. For Jonas. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out.